What's up, everybody? I'm Storm, and you can too. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have watched Andor, episode one. Disney premiered it this morning, somewhere about two or three hours ago, and uh, I have officially watched it starting at 5.10 a.m. as I was getting ready for work. I've got great news. It was actually pretty good. I'm not going to say it was the best thing I've ever seen. I'm not going to say it was the worst thing I've ever seen. Because I think we've all seen Boba Fett and Obi-Wan Kenobi. But Andor was very pleasant. It has adult themes. The execution of those adult themes is still Disney. However, they do not shy away from exactly who and what Andor is. Cassian is not Han Solo. No, Cassian is not Anakin Skywalker, Luke Skywalker. Not Ezra. Cassian is his own breed of would-be hero set in a time period where there is no need for a hero. The year is BBY5. The Empire definitely has its reach. We open up on a planet that I'm not familiar with, but we have several callbacks, things that look very Star Warsian. We almost immediately find ourselves in an adult theme style situation. One that I found actually kind of charming. You can tell that the cantina, as it were, that he went into had its locals. And they were very sure-headed about being locals. And that Cassian was an outsider. Now... He was referencing that he was looking for somebody. I don't know if it was a surprise or a shock, but there's more to Cassian than what we would have figured out in Rogue One. Go figure. But uh, he comes from a planet I'm not familiar with. And we got a good look at his childhood. What I assume is his uh, family or village not quite sure how he wound up from that situation to becoming a Republic spy, but you know, this might be a, a good way to figure that out, is just continue to watch. I didn't necessarily find myself the entire episode completely drawn in. I mean, you gotta tell a story. And the story that they're telling it is interesting. Just beat for beat, you're going to have your slow moments. But the world building was very, very well done. As it should be. Because if you're continuing off of Rogue One, that's probably Disney's most successful adventure away from the trilogies. Aside, well, yeah, no, I'm going to... I'm going to say Rogue One is probably Disney's most successful film adaptation of Star Wars. And they did a very good job at telling what they wanted to tell. Obviously to get us to A New Hope. This place that Cassian was in was dirty, rusted, beat up. He had uh, what seemed like a droid companion, but that wasn't attached to his hip like BB-8 or R2-D2. Um, definitely some kind of astromech looking thing, but I don't think it's going to be a, like a super reoccurring character, which is fine. I don't need droids at every given moment. Uh, there were definitely aliens, a lot of aliens, and it was nice to see 
the different species of bipeds from the Star Wars universe. This was a fun... I wouldn't even call them callbacks. It was just nice to see this representation of how diverse Star Wars actually is with its human to alien ratio. Not everything has to be black and white. It was kind of nice to see these other colors, aka aliens. I digress. It was also nice not to be on Tatooine. So anyway, moving on. Um, what do I really think about uh, what I just watched? I feel like I can't wait to see episode two because I just want to know where we're going. They did a, a well enough job at establishing what's going on to the point where I need to know what comes next. I'm not saying that, you know, by the time episode one ended, that I still didn't have the lingering question of what's going on. Because if I had to be honest, I still haven't quite figured out exactly what's going on. And that's probably why I need to do a rewatch. But from what I gather, from the opening scene of him trying to find somebody, that is the theme of the series. Either until A, we find out that the person's dead, B, we find the person, or C, finding that person tends to be some kind of penultimate goal I realized at the end of this season. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm interested. So I'm going to give it kind of a hesitant score here. I'm going to give it a 7.4 on my 10 grading scale. Um, it definitely had plenty of energy. It definitely had my attention. And there were definitely things that felt Star Wars. <laughs> and, and I'll be the first to say it. No woke stuff. The reason why I have to be critical on it is because... The overarching theme was kind of lost on me. I'm not sure exactly what we're telling here. I do have to go in for a rewatch because if you held a gun to me and you said, tell me what Andor is about, I might tell you the wrong theme. And I feel like that's a, a pretty major detail. Like, you should probably know the story that you, you are telling so that way you like what I'm doing right now, you don't end up rambling. However, I might go back and change this because this might just be on me. I don't know. Anyway, would I recommend it? Yes. Yes. Watch episode one for yourself. Um, you deserve to know what this is about. I won't say that this is a cultural phenomenon, you know, the masses must watch in unison like Game of Thrones, uh, but this is definitely, if you like Star Wars at all, if you're into Star Wars, you're going to dip your toe into the pool and you're going to find out if you uh, actually want to jump in because maybe it's too cold, maybe it's too warm, but overall... If you decide to plunge, I'm going to be plunging with you. So there you go. Episode one review done. Um, every Wednesday, there will be a premiere, which means I've got something to watch on Wednesdays. I will try and review every episode as they drop. It's really tough to say right now, but I think this is going to be a pretty good um, series. I just hope 
that the execution of the Empire is done better than what I'm led to believe. Because I guess... <laughs> I guess not showing the Empire in the first episode was actually a breath of fresh air. Anyway, I'm going to put my phone down. Because I am minutes away from work. But I want to thank you guys for the love and support. If you liked the video, you know what to do, hopefully by now. And if you didn't, let me know about it in the comment section. I'm not expecting more than 10 people to view this, but the last time I did a review for uh, Obi-Wan, no, it was Book of Boba. Uh, I got 300 people to watch, so... Mind your P's and Q's in the comments, and y'all have a good day. Peace.